Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining. And as you can see, I have a face cam now, so that's pretty cool. I decided that I'd be doing a tier list video, because why not? And I'm doing it over all of the animes that came out in 2020. Um, well, almost all of them. I haven't watched all of them, but I've watched a decent amount, as you can see. Everything here is all of the animes that I've watched. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, before I should start, I should say that one, this is my opinion, and two, yes, I did leave a few out, like Millionaire Detective, Kuma Kuma, Food War Season 3, all that stuff. If it's not on here, I'm sorry, I just didn't watch it yet, or I haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, so let's start. First off, we got Sword Art Online, uh, Season 3, War of the Underworld, Part 1 and Part 2, I think both came out in 2020. Um, if you know me at all, I'm a big uh, SAO guy, so yeah, I like SAO a lot. Uh, this season has like, the graphics compared to the last two seasons is unbelievable. It's kind of, It looks exactly like Fate in my opinion. The Fate series is remarkable, but like SAO graphics this season, hmm. Um, the season was pretty good itself. I, it's definitely probably the best season in SAO history. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil any of these videos or any of these animes in this video, but uh, uh, I I think it deserves an S tier. If you've seen it, you'd know why. Um, why not God tier is because a certain character was sleeping the whole entire time. So, yeah, so I'll put it in S tier. Um, that's just my opinion because I really like SAO. I know some people don't, but yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, Inspector. Um, Inspector is pretty good. It's like a supernatural detective anime. If you're into detective stuff, then you'd probably like it a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure it's getting a season two here shortly. Um, it, it's, it's like, I'd say like a B tier anime or maybe even A tier. I don't know. It's like... The main girl, Kuro or something, she's adorable. The main character is pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, she pretty much makes everything irrelevant. Or sorry, every other girl irrelevant in the show. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, she's also kind of like kinky in a way, if you know what I mean. You'd know if you saw it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I'd say B tier. It's not like amazing. I didn't like really like it. it was, I watched it like seven months ago or something. I don't know. Next up, we have Haiku to the top. Um, Haiku is really good if you like sports animes. Um, this is the only sports anime I've seen, so I can't really like compare it, but I really like it. They somehow managed to make one volleyball match about six episodes. So, I mean, if, if you're into like long drawn out battles and stuff, intense spine chilling stuff, yeah, it's pretty good. We'll put an A tier. Um, Love is War, easily god tier, okay, let's let's get that out of the way real quick here. If you haven't seen Love of War, Love is War, get out of here, all right, like, who are you? Like, I don't wanna know. Like, all the characters are fire, all the girls are even better, like, come on, watch it. If you actually don't know what it is, it's rom-com with an emphasis on the com. Okay. Next up, we have uh, The Irregular at Magic High School uh, Visitor Arc, which is season two, I think. Uh, I, f it's, I think episode 14 came out today. I, f I just finished that a little bit ago. Um, it's pretty good. I think I like season one better, but season two is definitely pretty cool. Not a lot of people watch The Irregular at Magic High School. Like that I'm familiar with. I feel like I'm like one of the only people I know that actually watches it, but um, I like it a lot. It's actually, it has like a lot of, the action is pretty cool. The graphics is are, or like the battle scenes and stuff, they're like all right, but I don't know, it's a cool concept. I'll put it at a, a tier. Fire Force Season 2, ooh, this is really good. I think that's an easy S tier for me. Fire Force Season 2, like, tripled what Fire Force Season 1 was. It was amazing. The ending was great. Next season's going to blow, I guarantee it's going to blow everybody away. But, um, 
definitely like one of the cool cooler anime concepts from this year. Um, a lot of boss fights in this one, and a lot of cool scenes in this one. It's amazing. A uh, few new characters. People do die. Yeah, I know. I didn't think so either, but there is no spoiler there. So we'll just put it there. If you haven't seen Fire Force, I really recommend it. So yeah, just go watch it right now. After this video ends, of course. Okay, sent to me. Oh my god. Rent a girlfriend, I mean. Um, with the centimeter as the opening, so I placed too much O's. Um, pretty good. It's very controversial um, over who's best girl and over if this anime is good or not. I like it a lot. I'm a Chizuru fan. Um, Ruka annoys me. Mommy and Sumi only had like one episode, and I'm not a manga reader, so. I can't really, you know, argue about that, but I'd say A tier. The opening's really good, the ending's alright. It's kind of weird if you, I don't know, it's a weird take on a romance anime, I guess. Everybody would like it though if you watched it, like, you can't really, like, hate it, like, it's pretty entertaining. Uh, next we have ReZero Season 2. Um, this one kind of, like, this season, I like, I liked ReZero, like, the first season. I also watched the movie. But this season, I don't know. It was kind of iffy for me. Like, I don't know. There was a lot of return by deaths this time around. Like, even more than before. And it's all the same exact time. So, it, I think the, re the remaining, or the next part two, season two, part two, will be pretty good but this season in particular like this part whatever i didn't really like it no rem insane characters people freaking out mental breakdowns and stuff i don't know it just made me cringe to watch honestly okay golden kamui i like this one i really like golden kamui and i feel like it flies under a lot of people's radars but it's really, really good. I promise you. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. Um, this season in particular, season three, was amazing. The season two had a really nice ending, and it led right into season three, and it was spectacular. Got a lot of like backstory over new characters and old characters as well. Um, they're rounding it out to end it with season four, I assume. Um, really cool show. You. If you like realistic type animes, then I definitely recommend it. I'll put it at uh, hmm, I'll put it at A tier. Eh, actually, I'm gonna go S tier because it, I don't know, it hits deep if you watch it. I I promise. Just, just give it a try. Uh, Damachi season three. Hmm. Season one of Damachi was really cool. Season two is iffy. Season three was pretty cool with like, you know, friendly monsters and stuff. Like it's pretty cool. And Wine is like. dope character you know um not that i'm into that but monster stuff no but i don't know i'll give it an a tier it was pretty cool the finale and stuff like not to spoil i'm not spoiling it but like yeah anyway uh tonikawa fly me to the moon uh if you're into cute romance slice of life anime slice of life anime then this is the one for you you'll probably fall in love with it in my personal opinion i think it was it kind of got repetitive towards the end like it's just like the same episodes like each one had a different storyline and different like thing they learned about each other but that's pretty, like the show is literally just them learning stuff about each other which yeah i understand that's what it's meant to be like a, a newlywed couple really young and i don't know I still f have a feeling that Tsukasa is like 5,000 years old or something, but that's just me. Um, I'm standing on a million lives. Um, this just ended. Um, it will have a season two. It was pretty... The concept is really cool. It's like a isekai without being an isekai. Like, they get teleported to a different world. 
only to do a certain mission to survive in the original world. So, I don't know. It's like, it was pretty cool. It's a cool concept, but I don't know. Season one kind of ended just randomly, and they went on like a really long, boring mission, in my opinion. So, but it did have a really hype like cliffhanger at the end so I would watch it if you haven't yet uh, it's pretty cool or you can just wait till the new season comes out and then watch it uh, Noble S uh, webtoon anime um, Noble S is alright honestly I didn't like enjoy it enjoy it I just watched it just because why not you know um, if you like OP main characters this has really cool graphics and an OP main character so Go for it, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna put a B tier. I didn't really like, I wasn't really like on edge, like, oh, I can't wait for Noble S. It was, yeah, it was all right. Jujutsu Kaisen, another one that kind of like, like it's super popular and everybody's like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be the next Naruto or something. Not really. So far, at least. I think it, episode 14 I'm on right now, or everybody's on right now, and it's definitely like, it's getting there, I feel like, but right now it's not like amazing. And since this is the end of the year tier list, I'm just going off of what's shown so far, and I think it's all right. I'm gonna put an A tier. Like the graphics look dope, and the storyline and stuff. It's the plot is pretty cool, but I'm not really sure where it's headed at this point. I just want that tournament thing, and I also want him to meet up with friends again. If you know what I mean. Uh, another webtoon. Um, Tower of God, personal opinion, and I understand that people will probably hate me, but like, I hate it. I don't hate it, I just disliked it. The only anime I hate is School Days, okay? Okay. Tower of God, this girl right here, if you see what I'm pointing at, mm-hmm, yeah, her. I, I ship certain couples every time I start watching an anime, and I shipped one particular couple and if you saw it, you know who I'm talking about, and I'm sure you've seen it. And I was severely disappointed, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Next, Misfit at Demon Academy, another OP main character anime. It was pretty entertaining. The graphics were pretty cool, and the plotline is like OP main character plotline. Uh, he looks pretty much exactly like Noble S. <laughs> um, it's like all right. It's not like amazing, but it's definitely like a cool concept. Uh, I, I don't know if they're gonna get a season two. Like I know they're supposed to, but I don't know if it's like, oh, I can't wait for a season two. You know. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll just put out B tier. Um, next we have the day I became God. Um, this is the same creator as Charlotte and Angel Beats, so that should tell you a little bit about um, the mood. It's like a really cool anime and then episode 10 or 11 hits and it's like eh. depression what where did that come from it was really good um i wouldn't say it's as sad as the other two honestly um it's definitely more s slice of life than like angel beats and charlotte were those had a little a lot more action in, in them this had not really any um Actually, none. But yeah, it's like, it's pretty good. I would watch it if you are into, if you're feeling like, let's watch a cute anime one day. And maybe cry a bit, you know? Uh, Wandering Witch Elenia. This is kind of like a happy-go-lucky Violet Evergarden, in a way. Uh, just like, each episode is just like a different, like, page of her book. If you've watched the first episode, you know what I mean? Like, each episode's like a different tale or adventure that she went on. And um, it's pretty cool. The last episode was pretty bad, in my opinion. Like, there's like 13 Elenias or something. That's not a spoiler, I promise. You can't really spoil that this anime. But um, it's like, I didn't like enjoy it. I just watched it because like everybody else did. And she has, she's like a white hair, a white haired waifu. And... Who doesn't like white haired wife, you know? So I'll put it at B tier. I didn't really like love it, but um, another webtoon anime, uh, The God of High School. 
Uh, it was pretty cool. The fight scenes were like god tier, but like the storyline was like B tier. And they rushed it. Like, I don't know. It was. They rushed it. Like, once you hit like episode like seven or eight, it was just like, where. Where, what season did I miss? Even though it's the first season, you know, if you saw it, you'd know what I'm talking about. They kind of just started throwing things at you, and I feel like you'd only understand if you watched the webtoon. So, I don't know. I'm just going to put it at A tier because, like, the fighting scenes, like, honestly made up for it, even if you had no clue what was happening. It, like, it was dope. It was, it was dope. Uh, Pr Princess Connect Redive. Um, not, not much really happened in this season, um, there was this season one, not, nothing too big happened, it's kind of like all leading up to the next season in my opinion, the last episode was like the only non-slice of life part of it, <laughs> and I thought it was supposed to be like more of like a, I don't know, like a straightforward Konosuba in a way, and it kind of was, but it wasn't really, it was more slice of life than anything else. And I think next season is going to be cool. All the characters are really adorable. Um, I don't think it deserves like an A tier right now. Maybe next season. But I'll put it at B tier. Uh, Adaichi and Shimamura. Shimamura. Uh, literally Yuri. One-sided Yuri anime. Um, it was kind of cute. It, they're... Like the feelings never really reach each other by the finale. Like it was few days ago I think um, it's like a nice anime but it's also like like I wouldn't really mind if I didn't watch it I um, it's not like an anime like wow I wish I could rewatch it that um, probably won't ever be it was just kind of like a slice of life like cutesy one you know I'll put it at B tier it's not like bad it's definitely not bad if you want to watch something heartwarming then watch it um, Attack on Titan, it's not over yet, but, or it's not even barely started, but, um, I'm sure everybody is watching this video has probably seen Attack on Titan. Uh, I'll just put it in S tier right now, um, based off of ye yesterday's episode, it's gonna be dope, I tell you what, but I'm not a manga reader, or a light novel reader, or whatever, so I couldn't tell you how good the season's gonna get, but I've heard some pretty good things about it. And yesterday's episode kind of showed that for once. Uh, the Last Crusader Rise of the New World, pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't think a lot of people watched it. It's just like a Romeo and Juliet anime. It'll have a season two. It left off at a really weird point. I'm just gonna put a beat here. Uh, Darwin's Game had a lot of potential. Really cool concept, probably one of the coolest concepts ever. I feel like a lot of people think this is like a god tier anime. And a lot of people think this is like a C tier anime. So I'm gonna put it like A tier. Hmm, maybe, yeah, I'll put it A tier. Like it's really cool and all the characters are like decent. But uh, I don't know. I don't think it deserves like a lot of praise because I feel like they had a lot of wasted potential, if you know what I mean. Um, Akudama Drive, really, really cool show. Very, really cool concept. Um, lots of bad guys. It's kind of like um, Suicide Squad. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly like that. Like, they're fighting for good, but they're also, like, bad guys at the same time, you know? Um, really cool anime. I'm gonna put it at A tier. If you haven't seen it, the graphics are really cool. The opening looks... It's amazing, okay? I would just watch it. Um, let's see. Uh, Talentless Nana. Uh, I, at first I thought this was gonna be a My Hero Academia, like, ripoff. It's not, I promise. Um, it's more like Among Us anime form. Uh, it's it's pretty cool concept. It just ended yesterday. Amazing, amazing ending. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I would go watch it. You could watch it in like three hours, four hours. Um, super suspenseful. The ending is amazing. I love the ending. It always gets stuck in my head. I'm going to put it at A tier. Um, Uzaki wants to hang out. Hmm. It's just like a little rom-com cute anime, I guess. 
Uh, it's not bad at all, but it's not like amazing. I'll put it at B tier. It's just like, you know, it's just a rom-com between two people. It's, that's all right. Hirgashi, When They Cry, C tier. I never really, anybody who's actually seen the full thing, like, like the resets and stuff really like turned me off, you know? The characters look cool, the animation looks awesome. I just don't really like enjoy it. I just didn't really enjoy it, I guess. Sorry to those big Higurashi guys, but not me. Decadence, amazing opening. Same opening singer as this game from No Game No Life. Uh, Suzuki Konami, I think. Um, amazing anime. It looked, the, the graphics are cool, but like the storyline is just so unique that like you wouldn't get like, you wouldn't get it from like any other anime, in my opinion. Honestly, I'm gonna put an S tier. That's, that's honestly a stretch, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I would put it at like A plus tier in my opinion. It's like really cool. It's not like amazing. It's not like, but it's, 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 okay. Uh, Origairu, God tier. If you haven't seen Origairu, go watch it right now. One of the best rom-coms in history. I promise you, you will enjoy it. Super like, it's like a very advanced romance anime. The main character, Hikigaya, he's so cool, very laid back. And then all the, the, the two girls, Yui and Yukino, are both like, they're like polar opposites in my opinion, but they like work so well together. And they're fighting like for the same exact thing. So, you know, they, you'll know if, once you watch it, it's just, it's really good. I can't really explain it. It's just, it's amazing. Last but not least, we have a certain scientific real gun T, which is just season three. Um, I'm gonna put that S tier. Um, the openings are really good. The animations and the storyline is amazing. I like it. I haven't seen the other, um, a certain magical index and a certain scientific accelerator, I think. They're just like off swings of it, or maybe certain scientific real guns and off swings of those. I'm not really sure. I've only seen Railgun and I love Railgun. Super cool. Just a whole it's a whole bunch of girls just like fighting each other with superpowers. So yeah, that is all for my video. Um, hope you enjoyed my tier list and drop your opinions in the comments below. I won't I will like to hear your comments. Just let's just tone it down a little bit, okay? Don't get mad because I put I don't know, because I said Ruka's bad or something, okay? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day and enjoy 2021. Hopefully it's not as bad as this year. See ya.